Hi everybody, this is just a little update on Poppy and I'm up mega early this morning because Poppy's getting groomed today and I think I'm more nervous than her. Um, I have no idea how she's going to react. Uh, she, she's very much a baby and uh, hopefully the groomer has experience of that because um, I really don't. I'm really worried about her. So she has no clue. Um, I think it's a good idea to have um, questions for your groomer before you um, book, your, book your puppy in for their first session. No idea. And uh, feel really guilty that she's actually going to get groomed. Well that was quite interesting because I just got a phone call there from um, the groomer saying that she'll be here very soon so it's actually quite a nice um, nice thing to do because it's made me feel it's okay so they're all very concerned about me, concerned about my puppy. Let's see what happens. Okay, so she's in there now, so um, the girl was really mega friendly and um, Poppy looked a bit nervous, but um, it takes an hour and 15 minutes, which is quite long. So um, I'll let you see the after pictures and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think the first question you should ask is definitely about their qualifications and do they have any certificates in, in grooming dogs? I think your next question should definitely be about um, actually grooming your type of dog. So because Poppy's a Shih Tzu, um, I was asking questions just generally about that breed. Also, it's very important to ask um, what they do if your dog gets scared. Um, and finally ask what the whole grooming package entails so that you get um, an idea of exactly what's going to be covered whenever your dog's being groomed. It's also a good idea to get recommendations from other people as well um, before you pick your groomer and um, obviously I'm going to be checking Poppy afterwards to make sure that she's she's happy and just and um it wasn't too dramatic for her. So and then if she's fine, then obviously she'll go back again.